Okay, so now we're gonna try a bit of a experiment. Uh, so we've got the two plant tanks. One's a uh, hot butt, so you can disable the mouth cards, and uh, the other uh, is carrot, so can gain some energy if the shield's broken. So yeah, and then obviously as the back line, we'll be running the bird. So just interested to see how this works. I know the danger of this kind of team is that basically your main damage dealer is extremely fragile at the back and so if they do have backdoor cards you know their ability to just snipe your damage dealer it's definitely a risk but nevertheless let's try it out okay so who are we up against here so we've got the plant tank up front uh, they've got uh, obviously energy steel we've got an energy gain in leaf bug and they've got a beast card primarily shield focused uh, and then the um, cattail okay so then we've got the beast midline with a bird card yeah fair amount of damage uh, obviously crits and some energy gain and then a backliner in this bird which does have a backdoor card as well so let's uh, let's see how we get on might just play the hot butt card this time round. So they go for some energy gain and energy steal. Alright, so we at least disable their mouth cards for next round. So, what to do? Uh, I don't have my dark swoop card just yet to target the bird, which is what I'd be wanting to do. So... I think what I might actually go for here is an energy steal, some shield, and I think perhaps that will be enough for this round. Yeah, okay, so comes in with a bit of damage. We do get an energy steal out of them, which is good. Still don't have the dark swoop, unfortunately. That, that's, a sh that's a real shame. Obviously if I had that right now, I'd immediately take out this bird. They're probably stacking up cards hoping to do the same. So if he's had a, a luckier draw than me this time, then it's going to be lights out for this bird, unfortunately. Question is, do I just play a stack of damage to get some value before he does that? Hmm. It is kind of tempting. Here we go. There we go, so we get the kill on his plant right before he attacks the bird. Gets the bird. Okay, so that was a decent result, you know, managing to get value out of our bird despite our, our card draw and uh, getting that kill uh, before we were taken out. So yeah, could have been worse, um, but definitely it's not ideal. I would have much preferred to have taken out one of their real damage dealers, but you know, uh, can't always get the cards that you want to draw so of course we're playing last now as we're two tanks so i think basically we've got four energy i'm just going to play as much damage as i can into this beast and we'll see how we get on okay so we survived that onslaught do some damage back to him, disable the mouth cards in the process, steal one of their energy. Um, yeah, I don't quite get that kill. Three energy. Okay, so up front, we have to run shield. I'm going to see if I can squeeze a bit more value out of this, this one, I think. We don't have any more cactus on this one, unfortunately, so I might try carrot. I, I just really need to make sure that we get rid of this beast this round. Yeah. There we go. That was quite likely a scenario. I don't quite get the kill. Frustrating. Okay, so this round, I mean, I think it's entirely likely we have a volley of attacks here. Let's go for a kill on the beast and try and shield up as much, well, a decent amount uh, so that we can withstand their volleys of attacks because clearly there's a lot of damage that can be done here. Okay, could have been worse. So we get the kill on the beast at least. Now... 
Got plenty of cards to choose from. Only two energy, of course. I've lost track of how much energy he has, but clearly some of these are some pretty hard-hitting cards. So I'm hoping one pumpkin and a cactus will be enough to survive the round and do a decent amount of damage to him. survive here. Clearly obviously still playing second and a lot of damage to get through. If he's going to be playing a three card combo into me again, I don't think he has enough for four. Hmm. Maybe we just go same again. Is that going to be enough? Let's go double pumpkin. Okay, so we survive, but of course now it's the same again. <laughs> we're still playing second. Um, I mean, I think, yeah, I think we're done. There's just no way. We don't have healing, otherwise we could go into Blood Moon and just keep stacking on pumpkins and healing. Um, but yeah, I don't have that available. I suppose what I probably should have been doing with this particular one is playing some more of the carrots just to keep stacking up a bit more energy so that I could come in with a, a heavier attack. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's entirely too late for that. And that's the game. Ouch. Okay, into another game. So, we've got the plant tech up front, we've got a bit of heal, uh, we've got uh, some decent damage in beach, uh, they've got <laughs> plenty of shield and pumpkin. And they've got Aqua Deflect, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, we don't have any Aquas currently in this team. We've got the Beast, um, yeah, standard Double Nut Rimp Beast there. And we've got the Koi Aqua on the back line. Okay, that's all good. What we'll go for here is just a skip. Okay, unfortunately didn't get the cards I was hoping for on the bird. Really was hoping for just one more damage card so I could take out their, their um, Aqua. But never mind, uh, let's see what we can do here. You know what? I might actually try skipping another turn. Let's just see if we can survive another one. Oh, that's a big question mark. Yeah, looks like he's got us. Always a danger when facing a beast, but never mind. Seven energy. Okay, here we go. Alright, so that should get a kill on their Aqua. We've still got four energy left. He's just played a full Beast Volley, so I'll go Energy Steel in case they're trying to save up energy. And we'll go Cactus and Carrot for damage and hopefully an energy gain in there as well. Let's try that out. Okay, interesting. They go for the Skip. Trying to save up energy for that, uh, that end game. Okay, so we get some energy steals in. We don't get any energy gain, obviously, out of the carrot because they didn't attack into it. We do, however, get a decent amount of damage done on their plant. He does have healing, so we definitely want to get him out of there as soon as we can. I do have egg bomb, so I can divert their attacks into the bird if I choose to, but I think it's too early to do that. I will play Pumpkin because I'm sure they'll be sweating a bit that they just lost their backline. So I think the play here is to do this. Okay, so they're going to heal up as much as they can. We should knock them back a bit again after we get through the shield. And then hopefully we're going to get some better cards as well, or additional cards. Um, Okay, here we go. Three energy. This is enough to take out the beast. So we'll go target fastest, which obviously is going to be the beast rather than the plant. I want to play both egg bombs and this zero cost in post flight into the beast. That should get the kill on him. That leaves us with one plant tank who does have healing versus our plant tank. So yeah, not sure how that's going to go, but let's find out. Now 
around, of course, because I'm playing these egg bombs, my bird has aroma, so all attacks go into our bird, which is right there. We don't have any more cards for the bird, unfortunately. If I had some more attack cards for that bird right now, I could play two of them and do a substantial amount of damage, but yeah, that's not the case. So, never mind. I guess what we'll do here, we'll go... We'll go cactus and carrot this round. And still healing up. We just get some energy out of the carrot shield breaking at least. Okay, so we're back to three energy. We'll see if we can get a bit more energy out of him. I've, I've lost count of how much he's got there, but let's try it. He still goes for heals. He's obviously, you know, playing into that blood moon. Let's knock him down a peg here. Okay, so we're at three energy again. He is playing first again. Uh, yeah, he's a very, very much an earlier axie than, uh, than mine. So he's playing first, uh, which is what happens when axes are the same. Oh, in fact, he's a 32 speed. Oh, of course, yeah, so he's got different, um, what are they, beast eyes? Not sure. We'll go pumpkin. We'll go the same again, I think, on this one. Oh, actually, um, yeah, rather than playing energy steel, I'm playing carrot for a bit more damage. Two energy. We do have two cactus now, but we've only got the two energy. I think we just go with that. Oh, that heal is just so annoying. Two energy. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here's the double pumpkin. Yeah, okay. It's come down to the blood moon, so that's tricky. Is he just going to go for heals wherever he can? Of course, they're definitely going to come to play. We need a pumpkin in there. Can I steal some energy? I think he's just going to be sitting at two energy each time. So... I'll go Cactus again. I'm hoping it's not another double pumpkin. Oh, it is. Because he's playing... You know, he's just playing his two energy every time as well. Uh, yeah, we don't have any opportunities to steal his energy, so it just has to come down to as much damage as we can do to him. But obviously if he's playing double pumpkin every, every time, then it's not going to help matters. Okay, can we mix it up a bit here? Can we go for an energy gain? So he definitely will break that. Ah, he double goes the double pumpkin again. Okay, this is not great. He's just drawing cards left, right, and center because he's got so many pumpkins. It'll probably be the same again. And he's he's still got slightly more health than us, so he's going to win through Blood Moon at this rate. What if we played two cactuses? Does that get through? It just gets through double pumpkin. Oh, we've got three energy this time as well. So I could actually go... Do I go damage or pumpkin? Go pumpkin. Ah, uh, so now he's back to his healing. Uh, okay, let's do some damage to him. Come on. Here we go. Still slightly more help than us. Oh, it's close. Oh, it's so close. He's still playing first, though. Okay, so Pumpkin, what's he going to play here? Is he going to heal up? Or is he going to go double pumpkin to soak up our, all of our attacks? Let's try this. 
Oh, he comes in with the, the two beach attacks and gets the kill. Oh, well played, sir. Well played. So close. 14 rounds. Alrighty, let's try another one. So we've got the plant tank up front. Um, pretty standard stuff there. We've got the midliner who does have some beast damage and yeah, so can actually attack other axes in the team uh, rather than the front line. So there's that one. And then we've got the back line who's got some energy gain, bit of speed control and goldfish. And uh, yeah, obviously a couple of high damage cards here. I'm gonna go for a skip. They do the same. We don't have any Dark Swoop cards yet, so I can't play that into one of their middle backliners yet. What's the play here? We've got five energy. I'm gonna try a couple of energy steals here, actually. Okay, here we go. So they are going for the midliner. They will just miss out on a kill, which they do. We managed to steal one energy out of them. Okay, uh, still don't have a Dark Swoop card. That is just so unfortunate, but I don't think we, we can wait any longer. We're about to lose our midliner. Okay, so we go for a full-on attack. This might take down their frontliner, um, but it's definitely not a sure thing. We'll shield up the front and midliner in case they come back for the kill. And we're doing some more damage as well, just in case that doesn't get the kill, which looks like it won't. So hopefully... Yeah, we should... Should be able to get a kill, there we go. Um, and you will have noticed that when I played the egg bomb from the bird, I followed up with a blackmail card which transferred that aroma onto my target. So, because I didn't at that stage want the bird being targeted by any subsequent attacks from their team, it's quite a nice combo that the, the egg bomb and blackmail being able to have control over where they're attacking. <laughs> now I get dark swoop. Okay, well, it's a little bit late, but never mind play those two for now I think. Okay so they skip. So we disable the mouth cards for next round. We waste the pumpkin because there's no attack. We do get an additional card from it but okay let's see. Now he's at 55, he's at 57 so it will be targeting this backline. It won't quite get the kill. I'll go for that anyway I think. Okay they're playing two cards assume they're coming back. Oh, okay, so they're going for the energy, energy gain. Okay, so our frontliner. I think that's the play there. Just load in some damage. If he if he survives, we'll load in some damage. We don't have any other zero costs. We can play here. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. It, was perhaps a mistake. So they don't get the kill here, but they've got a follow-up attack. Yeah, so... Oh, okay, so they go for the midline. Alright, so he does survive to fight another day. Uh, we don't quite get the kill. Alright, so we've got two energy and two low health axes. Basically the same as them. So the question is, do I take out their backliner? I think I do. I'm playing first. I take out their backliner. Don't think he has enough shield to survive that. This guy is in trouble though. <laughs> it's going to be close. Uh... Okay, so I get the kill. They get the kill on our front line. I play first. Here we go. This is it. Boom. Game over. Beautiful. Ah, uh, that was a nice, satisfying, close game. Enjoyed that one.